Package, what's up y'all, um, your boy the Geeky Hero here, sorry the background noise, I'm doing a um, boxing video of a package sent to me by, give me one second, Dark Joker Zen, he heard about my, broke up with my first girlfriend, he said between 2013, so he told me he was going to hook me up with this amazing Spider-Man 2 figure, another figure, so my address is right here, so I'm one of my creatures, but I trust him, he says tag nail to unbox it. Yeah, it's just, I'm just first, yeah, first review of 2014, just stoked, I'm just really geeking out. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. The war, oh my god. The World War II Captain America figure. And the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Look at this. Look at this. Thank you again so much, Dark Jokers and Kill. I mean, look at this. This is just, oh my God. This is, I'm just geeking out. I mean, I'm just geeking out. I'm just really geeking out right now. Hold me hide my address right there. I'm just geeking out. Um, Yeah. So thank you again. Um, From when I try to copy and paste this YouTube channel, it just showed like, you know, just a, a channel to this video. So, a screenshot to my iPod, so definitely check them out on YouTube. I'm, I mean, I'm just geeking out. Thank you again so much, bro. I'm just, I'm really geeking out. I mean, I don't know what I don't want to do. I'm just, really, I'm just geeking out. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm just geeking out. All right, peace. And well, actually, after this is going to be reviews. I'll be back. Everybody, this your boy, you here, here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm back with another review on the Marvel Legends World War II Captain America Infinity Series. And uh, before I start doing this review, big shout out and thanks to Dark Joker Zenkiller, I believe. Because uh, he heard about my birth with my first girlfriend back in December 2013. And he told me that he was going to hook me up with the Marvel Legends to make inspire figure, which he did, by the way. This right here, that's the review's already, that review's already up. And here's the pay code, so I forgot to mention that in the video. And let's get into this box. The box is just, you know, the box is just, you know, not too big, just the right standard pa packaging. It's not over, overly patent. World War II series, artwork in the back. Then you got the characters right there. I really want that Captain America right there. I am going to be Android. And at the, at the top it says, Steve Rogers was just a grounding kid determined to serve his country. To an experiment formula transforming him to a super world, world's first super soldier. That's top of the box. And I love this figure. I'm, first I was like, I don't really, you know. At uh, first I was like, mm, I don't really need this Captain America figure. You know, I just want to get the other one. But then actually, I stopped on actually. I do love this figure. Um, there's no first. I was kind of scared the head was gonna break until I did it like that. And you just turn to the side and pops off. And there you have a. Sorry about that. You have the head sculpt. It doesn't look. Gosh darn it. Sorry, it doesn't look nothing like Steve Rogers, but that's cool with me. I like to hike with the strap on there. So I don't know if you can see good the camera. I'm trying to get better with my lighting condition. You know, by the way, that I don't have my actual background like I did with like the, the bus stop. I just have to put that down. Just put this up there for better um, video quality. For my review, I guess you could say it's a shadow box or something like that. And the head pops. You gonna like? Sorry. He pops on very easily, and he holds the gun. I, if I'm not mistaken, he's supposed to hold the gun, the shield with his. Left hand, I think I'm not mistaken. For the C, it's on the sled. Oh, I grab. I have such shields of war, but I could fit the with some hot water. So he has a gun with this hand, and he, you know he holds it very easily, and it goes into the pistol thing very easily. And the one, the Marvel Select one from uh, you know from the Captain America Winter Soldier, it was my first Marvel uh, third Marvel Select. And the only thing I really hated about that figure is that it was hard to move the shield from the hand, and it broke a couple of times. So I gave that to my mom to actually. And for this right here, you can move very easily from this hand, which I'm not gonna do. I might show you. Oh, what the heck, I might as well. First of all, um, the gun goes very in very easily. Let's take it, put it like that, and uh, yeah. I'm mean, gonna try to make this not a fast review, not a four minute review, but like the best review as possible because I just was doing this review a few minutes ago. My camcorder just stopped on me. I have no idea why. 
and yeah, you have the shield, it goes in like that, and I like it a lot better than the one from the Marvel Slip because the shield is more, seems more stronger and uh, sturdier. So like if he was going against an attack, let's like say like if Baron Zeman or something like that, let's try the pose. Let's try something like... I'll be able to hold it, hold it up against something like that. I mean, look at that. That's just, I love how the, the color pattern on it is just, you know, really nice. And the paint on Captain America is just really, really good. I mean, I love the paint detail. Um, I know I'm not really the best at really doing reviews on figures like Shark of Miss Prime and Sean Long and Advocate 928 and Avenger Vestity, but I'm really trying. So, any advice would really appreciate it. It has a really good ankle pivot. I never, you know, had peg holes at the bottom, which is good. I never knew it was a special special ankle pivot, but now I know because the ankle pivot helps with poses. But it just has some really good poses. You know, the head goes all the way up. Tell me about, and it goes all the way down. It doesn't have an ad crunch, which is cool with me. So if I had, like, Baron Zeman or, or Zeman, whatever his name is, and a red skull, that would be really good. ACB would be able to best backgrounds and props and speech bubbles with this. So yeah, it's a really good figure. Some really good poses. Don't know if he's easy to come by, but I really want the other Captain America, the Captain America now figure, which I'm gonna get. Don't know. Well, hopefully next weekend. And my comment shot tells me he comes out. But then um, overall, this is a really really good figure. Uh, get it if you're a huge Captain America fan. I really like it. Not doesn't have you know any problems. It doesn't have an ad crumb, the best ad crumb, which is cool with me. But I wish. There was a way, only which I have a the shield too. Gotta take it like that. And it's very easy to remove the shield, it's not difficult at all. There's no way to attach it on his back right there or anything. Maybe like if, if he had him like maybe he's holding it. Maybe like a, Sorry about that. You know, it was maybe somehow he's holding some maybe that's a custom I do to come at customs on figures fits in up and everything. He doesn't hold it back all the way completely like that, but if he does I'm too lazy to figure it out. But anyway, yeah, so um the pe so please don't forget to comment or subscribe for this video. And if there's any way you guys think I can get better at review doing reviews, please let me know because I'm really trying to get better at it. Practice makes perfect. And uh they're gonna put some channel people some really good collector channel descriptors. People, channel people, oh, you good action figure viewers, channel is going to be below. Don't forget to check out Dark Joker Zen Killer. Comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And I really do love this figure. I mean, it's a really good figure. A lot better than the Marvel Select one. Um, when, uh, first Avenger. And uh, catch you guys later. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. And uh, who else is there? Um. Talk, think about, and peace.